take a look at this chart. This shows that stroke is the fifth leading cause of death in the United States. And while we tend to think of strokes as only happening to older adults, one in seven occurs in people younger than 50. In recent years, the rate of stroke among young adults has been rising. So what is a stroke and how can you reduce your risk of having one? A stroke happens when normal blood flow in the brain is blocked or disrupted. There are two main types of stroke, ischemic, caused by a blockage like a blood clot, and hemorrhagic, caused when a blood vessel bursts within the brain. Strokes can range from mild to devastating. A massive stroke can cause permanent disability and death. On the other end of the spectrum, an ischemic stroke can appear to resolve on its own. During these so-called mini-strokes, officially called transient ischemic attacks, or TIAs for short, the symptoms of the stroke disappear within 24 hours. Although TIAs may not cause permanent brain damage, they still require a trip to the emergency department, and they are often a warning sign of a more devastating stroke to come. Approximately one in three people who have had a TIA will go on to have a major stroke within the next year. TIAs are one of a few types of strokes that have been steadily increasing among young people over the last few decades. While experts don't know exactly why this is happening, they do know that the leading causes of stroke are also on the rise among young people. These include untreated high blood pressure, high cholesterol, atrial fibrillation, that's irregular heartbeat, diabetes, heart disease, drug use, and obesity. So when a stroke happens, what does it look like? You can recognize stroke symptoms with the acronym BFAST. B stands for balance. Is there a sudden loss of coordination? E for eyes. Is there vision loss in one or both eyes or double vision? F for face. Is one side of the face drooping? A for arm. Is there numbness or weakness in the arm or leg? Can the person raise both arms? S for speech. Is the person having trouble speaking or understanding language? If you or someone else is abruptly experiencing any of these symptoms, it's T. Time to call 911 immediately. Time is critical in stroke treatment. As doctors say when it comes to stroke, time is brain. Have an ambulance take you to the hospital. It's safer and faster than driving yourself. In the emergency department, medical teams will diagnose the type of stroke through imaging tests. Stroke treatment may involve medication to dissolve a clot or reduce bleeding, surgical procedures, and keeping blood pressure within a targeted range. Stroke recovery varies widely, depending on the severity of the stroke. People who have had a stroke often have difficulty with movement, speech, and memory, so rehabilitation can include physical, occupational, or speech therapy to regain function. It may also involve adding adaptive tools or changing the environment at home to assist with mobility. A stroke can be devastating, but diet and exercise habits we adopt early on can have a significant impact on stroke risk. Things you can do now to lower your risk of stroke include eat a healthy diet with foods low in animal fat, trans fat, cholesterol, salt, and added sugars. Exercise regularly, getting at least 150 minutes, that's two and a half hours of moderate physical activity every week. Make sure your blood sugar, blood pressure, and cholesterol are in a healthy range. And if you smoke, quit. Along with these steps, establishing a relationship with a primary care doctor is crucial for monitoring your overall health and managing stroke risk factors. Stroke is preventable, and the younger you are, the more time you have to implement these healthy habits that lower your risk of stroke.